unrestricted desire is bliss. And what happens when you're in bliss? You're connected. What happens when you're connected? You feel the power of the whole universe swirling inside you. What happens when you feel the power of the whole universe swirling inside you? You feel at one with everything. What happens when you feel at one with everything? You naturally exude love and forgiveness and unconditionality because you don't need anything from anyone. All the problems that we're trying to fix with meditation and spirituality are the result of you restricting your desires, of you disagreeing with what you're built to become. All of it, all your problems, all the stinky little ponds that you then try to kind of monk-like Buddhist monastery cell manage respectfully with, with equanimity, which is another word for suppression in most people's cases. Most equanimous persons are actually just suppressed as fuck, and they've gotten really tolerable about that. You're suppressing the universe's expansion, or you're trying to. You're not succeeding. That's why I say you're fucked. You're, you're as greedy as God is. You're as selfish as God is. You're as crazy as God is. You're as expansive as God is. You're as fast-moving as God is. Anything less than that that you accept is just a disagreement with the truth. That's why it feels bad. And then you need mindfulness to manage feeling bad and to become more tolerable of feeling bad. But it's you going against the entire guidance system of the universe. So fuck it. Be crazy. Be delusional. God is the most delusional. It's the most delusional. Everything is delusion. It's just about picking yours, you know? Do you want a stale, sort of society, societally accepted version of delusion? Do you want the crazy that's happening in the world right now? Or do you want the crazy of manifesting Shambhala with a bunch of crazy people? You know, choose your delusion. It's all delusion. It's all illusion. So choose yours. Don't restrict it. Go with the flow. Allow this vortex to move you. Allow this ever-expanding flow to enter into your body, into your mind, into your actions, into your inspiration. Agree with your expansion. Stop disagreeing with your expansion. It's why you're here. Fun, huh? All right, so the present is the past, and the future is actually the present. Because, and I've called this future presence in the past, and I'll call it that again because I think it's a fitting term. So future hyphenation, hyphen uh, presence, future presence. To live in future presence instead of to living in the facts of what is. And there's a real art to this, to ignoring, and some courage required, ignoring the facts doesn't mean you oppose the facts because that would still be taking the facts to be real. And that's where opposition comes in and that's where resistance comes in and that's where conflict comes in and that's where conditional love comes in and that's where trying to demand respect comes in. All that resistant energy is the result of still going by the facts. But if someone tells you something like, oh, you can never do that. If you don't pay attention to the facts, or if, if life seems to de demonstrate to you, if you have a day two challenge and there's a situation like, oh, fuck, I really thought I could do this. I was so lit up by this new initiative, this new desire, but I have kids. Or, but I don't have money in my bank account. Or, but what will people think of me? Anytime you go there, again, watch what your frequency does. Watch what you're now going to perpetuate and attract and generate. You're not helping. You're resisting. You're struggling. But if you're unrestricted, if you're unresisted, then there is no need for you to impose on anyone else or to try to prove the world wrong or to try to prove the facts wrong. There's simply no need because you're not focused at that level of what is. You're not fact-checking your desire. You stay true to your desire, which is what's calling you forth. You've already had the desire, or a lot of them. You're going to birth new ones, but you have a lot of expansions that are already awaiting you. So now you just want to stay true to that which you've desired into being. And now you want to align to that. And if someone tells you, no, you can't, there's no reason for you to say, yes, I can. Nor is there a reason for you to believe, oh, you're right, I can't. Both of these are the dualities that come with fact-checking based on what is. But what is has absolutely no power. Nothing in physical reality has any power to prevent your imagination, to prevent you, you from living in future presence. And I say imagination. I don't just mean like, oh, imagine this, imagine that. Although that's a component of it. But I mean... Being in that state of conviction, of being connected to what you've already launched into this vibrational reality and aligning to that, being, staying true to that, it's another way of saying have faith. Someone tells you no or something in your uh, conditions of your reality appear to say no, you can't, or no, you shouldn't, or no, this or that, whatever the no or limitation is that's testing you. 
if you can keep focused vibrationally and what you know excites you and you can stay attuned to that, now you're going to really transform these conditions as they meet you one by one, as they're trying to kind of test your new resolve, your new intention, your new expansion. They're kind of like ways to allow yourself to really choose. Are you sure you want the next level? Are you sure you want to speed up? Are you sure you want to swirl around like a crazy person? Or very clear and calm and confident crazy person, by the way. Or do you want to submit to physical reality? Submit to the facts and interpretations you have at that level, which is the level that birthed the desire. But now you're staying true vibrationally. You're staying true. You keep observing the very thing that caused the expansion. But you got to let go of the condition that caused the expansion. And now you got to go with the expansion, which means you have to ignore what is and live in the future presence of your conviction, of your faith, of your vibrational reality, tune into your vortex, be in that receptive mode, be meditative, be creative, be convinced, be, be in confidence, which means you have to let go of the tempting habit 